We have some new information for you from a Texas A&M research report that sampled air quality in East Palestine. It shows that some chemical levels were three times higher than other cities. Three News investigator Marissa Sines has been following this study and she has the details for us. Just how contaminated the air, water and soil of East Palestine is remains a hot topic of conversation. We have a plan. We, we have a plan to do that. Tonight, more information from a report out of Texas in collaboration with Carnegie Mellon University. The Texas A&M Superfund Research Group conducted independent air testing on February 21st and 22nd, collecting data by circling the streets. There's levels, you know, well below Pittsburgh as well as, you know, three times above Pittsburgh. One week since releasing the first analysis report, researchers sat down to explain the complex results. The study compares air quality in East Palestine to that of downtown Pittsburgh. According to the reports shared on Twitter, the data researchers collected agrees with the EPA's results for benzene and vinyl chloride. But the chemical that remains of concern, researchers say, is acrolein and the potential it carries of having long-term health effects. This map is a breakdown of acrolein levels across East Palestine, showing a range of acrolein levels five times lower and three times higher than Pittsburgh. Obviously, there's a rural area, so you would expect the, the concentration to be lower than Pittsburgh. We feel horrible about it. Tension continues among residents. I'm stuck. No one's coming to save us. Who, at a town hall Thursday night with federal, state, and Norfolk Southern officials, sounded off about their frustrations. We, we, we came up with a plan. It's our property under the traps. It's our That's the thing that we're about. We're about to organize. Stay after living. Now, the researchers say symptoms East Palestine residents are experiencing and reporting can't necessarily be attributed to acrolein alone. They tell me they're going to start focusing on what's called non-targeted data that might help identify other chemicals that aren't yet being monitored. That, of course, is a tedious and technical process, reminding folks that this will take some time. Christy? No doubt about it. All right. Marissa Sines, thank you so much. Sure.